Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Good evening, Curling Stadium Live. Is this thing on? Have you got commentary working? Yes, I do. My name is Rory McCusker. I'm your cameraman, operator, stream provider, producer. And I'll also be watching the game with you this evening between John Schuster and Jason Smith. Apologies for the late stream. Just had some mix-ups with stream keys and certain games going certain places. So. Got that all figured out. And now all all games during this draw 11 are available for viewing online. Men's and women's draw tonight and this afternoon. This whole event, really. Some with a little more men's teams out, some with a little more women's teams out, but good spread of what you can watch. I'm currently Stadium Live this weekend from Blaine, Minnesota. Early success, it seems. Team Schuster kind of maintaining control. I'm not exactly sure how they got three in that first end. But chased Team Smith all over the house in the second end. Eventually solidifying a rock in the forefoot behind some cover. Forced Team Smith to a draw for one. Came up a little light. Gave up a steal. Looks like we got Chris Plies in the house. Skipping the three-piece Schuster team. John Landsteiner throwing the first few rocks. Colin Huffman throwing four through six. And Christopher Plies in the rings, getting some skipping, uh, some skipping action in. Such a strong sweeping team, especially second Colin Huffman. <laughs> little, extra, little extra sweep after the sweep. Not sure if anyone caught that. <laughs> Decent center line kind of set up going for Team Schuster. Got that Christmas tree action that everyone talks about where one rock kind of Supersedes another rock, two thirds buried on one side, and then the third stone, same thing. Kind of got that Christmas tree looking action down the center line. Very difficult for the opposing team to make any type of meaningful hit and roll or tap back or freeze on those stones because they'll never quite get the nose. So, a 
eventually Team Smith will have to jiggle those, those rocks around a little bit or remove them. For now, they'll take advantage of their overlapped corner guards, sending a rock to the side of the rings, trusting that later on in the end, they'll take care of those centerline guards and Team Schusters. Just sailing a little bit deep. Perfectly buried, though. It's a fine shot. Rock thrower Colin Huffman throwing a run back. Only gets the one guard going. That may have been all they were trying to do. There's always risk involved with trying to take two guards out at once. It's closer to the nose, the target area, so you might be more likely to miss by sticking the peel, meaning jamming your, your rock into the rock that you're trying to remove and roll out on. Or that second rock that you're contacting could take a surprise kind of twist and turn. Not always positive what might happen. A little more risk with taking on a double peel, so... Not so bad just getting one out of the way. Throwing a little more weight here. Choosing to interact with this center line setup of Schuster's. Trying to go for a hit and roll here. It is going to over curl. Just chips that top one off, but more importantly, Team Smith's Rock is in the sideboards. That won't be counting. Not a great trade for Team Smith there. If you were only to take that one rock off, you would at least want to keep your other one in play, perhaps even in the rings, rolling right out. Not going to help score multiple points. Looks like another single peel here, being asked of Colin Huffman. John Landsteiner kind of just keeping with this one. Trying to clean it off. I was wondering why Steiner wasn't uh, switching sides there. <laughs> Glued to that, that sweeping side. John Landsteiner not interested in screwing around with routine. I think that stone was thrown hard enough that sweeping wouldn't have made much of a difference anyway, but. We'll blow by that peel attempt. Colin Huffman well. Opening the door. Team Smith has an open crack at these rocks down the center line. Maybe they can move them both off with one shot here. Oh, this does look like draw weight. They'll save that shot for later. Trying to plug another rock in a little better position behind that center guard or that uh, corner guard of theirs. We'll watch this one come in from the overhead. Good line. Wait for that rock to stop. Cruz is just a little bit deeper than they wanted, but that's a made shot. Perfectly buried behind a corner guard. Up four to nothing. Team Schuster's not going to risk a, uh, a freeze or a tap back type of call. We'll try to take this rock off again. I think Colin's asking if they can play a run back. Please let me make up for my previous mistake. <laughs> Tempting emotion as a shooter. May have talked him into it. Might see a run back attempt here, Colin Huffman. Let's get the one guard. That's a satisfying result. a matter of how long Team Smith thinks that they can ignore these rocks or 
when they think they have to remove at least one of them. Time might be right now. That looks like wait for a, a hard tap back, maybe a hack weight bump type shot. Don't think they're they're going for a clean double right now. Ooh, just by the top one. Pretty, pretty good shot. They're going to create an overlap. There is no triple. Keep in mind, there would have been a double anyways, no matter what, um, what result there was from the previous shot, even if both reds were removed. There would be some type of double on the ice. With this straight on straight on double on the outside being the most obvious one. So it makes that double easier, certainly, but it does defend one of those stones on that kind of pile. With no guards around, it would be pretty difficult to keep Team Schuster from removing at least a few stones before the end of this end. Still a good chance at getting two this end for Team Smith. On this one right away, uh, right out of Chris Ply's hands. Throws it hard enough that he is going to make the double anyways. Kind of groups his own stones. Not ideal, but certainly a satisfying result. Up four points in the third end here. Team Schuster skipped by Christopher Plies tonight. Looks like a freeze. Trying to maximize the potential here for extra points. They could make a, a double and roll. It'd be a pretty tricky shot. They'd have to play it with just the right weight. But they'll, they'll opt to take on a freeze here. Team Smith has two rocks left. They know that they're more. They're likely to only score two anyway, so they may as well keep uh, kind of dream alive for three points or worst case scenario, lock one in there knowing that they already have a rock in scoring position. Perhaps tempt Team Schuster into not hitting the outside stone. <laughs> no matter where this sits, this looks good enough that you think Team Schuster is probably going to just hit the open one. Oh. Making me eat my words. Christopher Plies sees a double and he's going to take it on. The risk, of course, being if he, he misses quite inside and jams. Jams the Yellowstone directly on the red one, but we've seen Chris throw some big weight so far this game. I think I think Plies is in a big weight kind of mood. Saw that separation, that, that foot of separation between the rocks on that freeze and thought to himself, hey, I've been bombing this thing all game. What's one more? Chris Plies, big weight shot to eliminate danger here in the third end. Oh, that is a cannon. This will be close. One and oh, just underneath the second one. <laughs> yeah, that was some big weight from Chris Plies. If that if his shooter went anywhere near that Smith stone on the outside, that would have exploded out of the rings. But it doesn't quite get the angle right. Shoots the gap, but can't collide with the second team Smith stone with his shooter. I'd like to get a hog to hog time on that rock. Uh, my guess would be about five seconds. Jason Smith now will have this double along the outside of the rings. He'll have to keep his weight under control so he doesn't roll too far. But removing the two red stones should not be not be super difficult. Jason Smith, shot for two in the third end. Last stone. This 
Sweeper's on this one right away. Oh, off now. Trying to find that perfect angle. Looks really good. Oh, they misjudged the, uh, the angle they needed to hit that second rock at. Sweep call would indicate they, they had that one right where they wanted it. Just seems like they didn't they didn't get the spot right on the rock that they needed to hit. It's a shame because they had lots of room to roll in that 12 foot with that kind of weight. That was a really good solid bumper weight, that type of shot. But anyways. One point, Team Smith. Sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. And to four action here. Four to one lead, Team Schuster. Over Jason Smith. Score three in the first end for Schuster. Puts him in the driver's seat here. Uh, good defensive end with uh, keeping their stones in the rings by Team Schuster. Forces Team Smith to a, a moderately tough draw for one point. They come up a little light. Schuster steals in the second end. And as we just watched in the third end, really good end by Team uh, Jason Smith. First four rocks at the end, nearly perfect. Got themselves a nice setup. Uh, missed peel by Colin Huffman. Gave Team Smith an opportunity to remove the red stones in the middle of the house. At one point, Team Smith was lying three, but by a double takeout and then by a, a just barely missed another double takeout, Team Smith had a more difficult hack weight shot for two. Wasn't quite able to make it. Misjudged the angle on the, the back rock of the double. That's a tick shot. Would have been in the protected zone had the new tick rule been in play. Team Schuster up three points with Hammer. Gonna love that result. A tick, especially on the first guard. Very good result. Especially when you can push it that far off of the draw path where it's it's really not going to make a difference on any type of shot down the middle into the forefoot. Trouble getting the curl, the last little bit of curl out of this one from Jared Allen. Looks like a draw around of the, the ticked corner guard. It's coming from John Lansteiner. Line looks really solid, getting a lot of movement out of this inside out turn. Still waiting for this one to slow up a bit. Colin Huffman does not want to touch it yet. That's a pretty darn good result. Two made shots, John Lansteiner. It's, uh, it's Really handy to have a lead that consistent with that much experience. Especially when the game is, is like this, when you're up quite a few points or down quite a few points, the lead's role becomes that much more significant. Gaining early control of an end, whether it's relying on, on making your guards to give yourself a chance to steal or a chance to score multiple points, or whether it's uh, avoiding leaving your rocks in a bad place when you do have a lead in the game. Preventing your rocks from going behind the T-line, preventing your rocks from 
staying high as guards when that is not uh, an optimal thing. It's, it's a big advantage. That's where leads come into play in these lopsided scores. Elite leads, I should say. Well, this must be fun for John Landsteiner getting to throw a peel. Not very often. He gets these shots. Oh, yeah. Makes good on his first peel this this century. John Landsteiner. Throwing that third rock as a lead is pretty fun. You get to throw some different shots that you're not used to. Not just peels, but sometimes some hack weight hit and rolls and maybe tap backs that you wouldn't quite have enough rocks in play to, to get those opportunities when you're throwing first. What isn't so fun is sweeping five rocks alone after that, that extra third shot. I think that was the call. Another guard coming. High one this time. Good sweep. Making sure that that rock gets to where it needs to go. Good separation there. I don't think Chris Plies is going to take on a double peel. Too much risk of jamming either his shooter or the first rock and keeping two guards in, in the center line of play. Might as well just take this top one off. It's more big weight from Colin Huffman. Getting three points in the first end. Team Schuster's had a pretty good opportunity to practice their big weight these last few ends. Operation Eliminate Stones. Another center line guard goes up. The next target for Colin Huffman. Another center, rock, center guard gone. This will repeat <laughs> quite a few times until Team Smith feels that they need to, and I guess it'll be right now, come top four. The plan was always to sink a stone into the rings. To steal a point, you gotta have a stone in the forefoot, so. Make that happen right now. Pretty aggressive ice. Taking a little bit more there. Like they heard me. <laughs> you want to make sure you get this one around. You don't want to tick off the, the guard unless you're light and you'll leave yourself as a guard in replacement. But you do have to play this quite close. You have to make sure you get buried. Otherwise, Team Schuster will ignore it, hit and roll, stack the house with even more rocks. Not dealing with a ton of risk right now, Team Smith. Significantly light on that attempt, and that's gonna that's gonna be a tough miss. As they're gonna leave a double peel. Huffman implies lining that up right now. Just trying to check and see if there's any jam potentially on their back red stone. I wouldn't be too concerned, even if there was.
the opportunity to get these two rocks out of the way in one shot. Too hard to pass up. Gotta take advantage here. Room is on the outside of that front yellow. They must they must think that they need to hit it pretty significantly high side. That they do. Rock shoots over the top. So they must have they must have thought the only risk of a jam is if they more or less nosed the top yellow, therefore dragging the back back yellow lower on its its journey through the rings. Hitting that rock on the high side or the outside, the broom side. Allowed everything to spin just right. Tough look now for Team Smith. We'll try to make a freeze here. They don't necessarily need to be shot at this point. As long as they make they put their rock in a place that's tough to remove, that's going to be satisfying enough. But they will eventually need to outcount that red rock in the side of the eight foot. Taking a nice line of curl a little further outside than John Landsteiner's. We'll watch from the overhead as this one comes in. Hoping it stops, waiting for it to stop, and that's going to be a really good result. Very difficult to remove that stone. I mean, it, it may be a little sharp of an angle. We can see from the straight-on view, Chris Plies throwing the weight that he throws. Probably can get rid of everything there. But still, not an ideal situation for Team Schuster. There is no way to continue to count their back stone now while at the same time removing the yellow. I think they just got to shred everything. So forcing Schuster's hand, that nice freeze by Team Jason Smith. Good sweep on that. Really patient sweep there. Chris Plies in his happy place. Gets to throw another bomb. That's all he's been throwing all game. May as well keep it in high weight mode. Colin Huffman signaling this is a big one. Need a lot of weight to make these rocks fly. We'll get the yellow rolling. Will it be enough? Grinding in the back of the 12 foot. It will. The big weight by Chris Plies is enough to remove that stone. Did not hit, hit that thing nearly close enough to nose uh, for what they were aiming for. That had quite a bit of room by the guard. Chris got that one a little bit outside, but throws enough weight and enough rotation to make up for it. Spins that yellow rock out of the back of the rings. Decent situation for Team Smith. They do have a guard. It's not a center guard, but they do have a guard to work with. Like... Might be able to bury a stone back here and force Chris Plies to a tough shot to blank the end. Or, even better, force Chris Plies to draw for one. Trying to get some late curl out of this one. Jared Allen leaning on that broom. Wow, great sweep. Great finish on that stone. It's that rock more than buried, overburied, in fact. I think that may have done the trick. I think Team Schuster might have to draw for one here. Other option, of course, being this run back double. Not a lot of risk to it. Most you'll give up is one either way. Can't tell if this is ice for a draw for run back here. It's a draw. Chris puts his cannon away that he's been using all game, throwing big weight. Didn't catch the first end. Not exactly sure if he threw a draw in that end, but this may very well be his first draw of the game. 
Colin Huffman wasn't too concerned about that one, but then jumped on it really hard. About 10 or 15 feet before the hog line. Will they get it there? <laughs> Great sweep. Colin Huffman, John Landstein are jumping up to, to join. Really good read by the sweepers there. Team Schuster takes another point. We'll go up five to one after four ends. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Welcome back, fifth end, Team Schuster, Team Smith. Another impressive, impressive end by Colin Hoffman and Chris Plies, removing all danger, forcing Team Smith into these tough freeze tap shots, which granted, Team Smith made all end. Really impressive end from Team Smith just to get a force to one. But they did it. They won that end, I would say, even with some, some big weight shots from Plies and Hoffman. Solid rocks by John Landsteiner to start the end as well. Nothing, nothing Team Schuster did wrong that end at all. Solid play from Team Smith to gain the hammer back in the fifth end, down four points. Not too late at all. Math is still reasonable for Team Smith. If they score two, force to one, score another two, they'll be in a position to steal a point to force an extra end. So none of that is out of the question. Just need to win most, if not all, of the ends. Win in the sense of getting the force when you need to and a score of two or more when you have the hammer. So that journey begins now. Jared Allen trying to throw up a center guard here. Or sorry, not a center guard, a corner guard. Make full use of the free, free guard zone. Taking advantage of the fact that the next, next thrower cannot throw a peel, cannot throw a hit if the rocks are in the free guard zone. So two really nice looking guards there. Jared Allen does his job. set up the end in a favorable situ situation for Team Smith to get on the board here. Make some, make up some ground in this 5-1 game. Without the ability to peel, Chris Plies just asking his squad, what should we do? Where should we put this rock? Should we make an attempt to tick away one of these corner guards, or should we do our own thing, try to protect our scenario, force Team Smith to come deal with us later in the end? That is what they will do. Tight center guard or a top eight, top four kind of draw. Sweeper not touching this one. Feels it's a little heavy. Heavy it is. Couple stones in the back of the rings here for Team Schuster. Not going to help their cause. 
in an attempt to steal or force a single point. Somewhat, you know, acceptable result to give up two. Never, never hopeful to give up two, but we'll likely see some peels and some, some risk reducing shots by Team Schuster. Make sure that they're not going to give up three or more. Limit the damage, as it were. Gain some advantage of their own if they can. This rock's got a lot of work to do if it's going to reach the rings. Hey, good sweep. Not quite as deep as they would have liked it, but that's all right. Those are three rocks in a row. One of them buried behind two center guards. That's really as good as uh, Team Smith could have hoped for this end to, to begin. Three made shots so far. Team Smith on a bit of a roll here. Peel number one coming from Colin Huffman. Colin was standing in the way there. Not sure if we were able to see that on the stream, but wicks off his own, or wicks off the, the corner guard, collides with his own and doubles off his own stones. Really unfortunate there. To open the door wide open. This end has just flipped considerably in Team Smith's favor. Got a corner guard. They got one high in the rings. And they have the initiative here to replace that corner guard, bring themselves a little closer to the end of this fifth end, the final stone of this fifth end. If they can maintain this setup, this advantage, until skip stones, they're going to be looking really good to score two or more. May have left a double. That's why you see the body language. A little disappointed there. That's that corner guard is quite high. If Colin Huffman can get a rock by and and get the nose of this top yellow stone, both of those yellows are going to fly. Diner trying to make a curl. One and... Hmm. We'll roll the second yellow stone to the opposite side of the rings. Still looking a little cleaner than it did before Colin's first shot. Team Schuster gaining some ground this end. Still a corner guard to work with. Really a, a double corner guard there to work with. And a rock already in the rings. Team Smith still has a good opportunity to cook something up here. A little bit light. They want this to go a little bit further. Ah, oh, beautiful shot. That's really good. I think they were trying to get in the rings there, but two corner guards on the same side is still going to help them, even at this stage in the end. Little hit and stick here is going to remove the immediate danger for Team Schuster. Also, hang, hanging around that close to the forefoot is going to mean that Team Smith will have to address that rock at some point because as they bury their, their stones behind these corner guards, that red, red stone on the side of the forefoot is going to outcount them.
Makes it there. One point, Team Smith. Sometimes curling just isn't as fun as it can be on the Nintendo Switch. With up to four players per console, you can enjoy curling with your friends and family anywhere, anytime. Let's play curling. Available now only on Nintendo Switch. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, pawn spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. to your desired platform it well it's been YouTube three force ends YouTube. in a row yeah. teams trading good defensive blows here not for lack of setups last end in the fifth team smith had four really good stones had a uh, corner guard two corner guards a rock behind them and they were drawing another one in when there's a really unfortunate pick from then on team schuster took control back eliminating the stones they needed to keeping their rocks in good enough spots that Team Smith had to really be precise with their shots. Ends up with another force. Make it five to two, Schuster with hammer. Jason Smith signaling here. Time for a little tap back, come around. Pretty good pocket to work with if you're Team Smith here. John Landsteiner throwing his rocks pretty well where, where Chris Plies uh, indicated them, but just getting a bit of a bad break with the way they lined up here. It's gonna allow Team Smith Try and make a draw on top of him here. Can't quite get the curl. Ah, big opportunity missed there. To be able to weld one at the top of those two reds while having two center guards would have put Team Smith in a really good position to force a point or steal a point this end. But that roll off is gonna give the initiative to Team Schuster. They're gonna be able to move these rocks around with hammer. They don't really want the forefoot that messy at this point. Oh, Colin Huffman, be able to make some rocks move around here. Oh, less weight than I figured they would throw. Might just be a simple hit and roll on top. 
Keep this rock straight. I think that's what they're going for. Hits and flops. Occupies the valuable top four. Especially in these ends with two center guards. This is going to take more than two shots of work for Team Smith to correct the button and forefoot totally choked off at this point. Although, without hammer, all Team Smith needs is one rock in there. One controlling stone to force Team Schuster to one point. It's going to take them a, a bit of work to get there, though. We'll start with this tap back on the intern side. Sweepers like it, waiting for it to curl. Starting to move now. Really delicate shot, this one. Wow, did that ever take off. Jeez, Hunter Clausen thought he had a good rock sailing towards the rings there, and it just decided to curl like crazy. Found that magic speed. Every rock, every running surface has a speed that when it decelerates to, it really starts to grip the ice surface more. Of course, there's lots of factors that go into that. What type of ice, what, the patch of ice that it's traveling on top of, a million things, how intense the sweep is, but Hunter got caught there. His rock slowed down and really curled on him. Chris Ply is looking at what's the most risk-free shot here. What can we play that's not going to bite us in the behind here? Looking at a slash kind of double peel type shot here on the outturn side, thinking that it won't, there's no good angle for it to jam backwards onto their red rocks into the four, in the forefoot. Colin Hoffman, another big weight shot coming. They've had the lead all game, so it's meant a lot of big weight from the second rock thrower. One gets two, just like Chris Plies drew it up. That's like a 15, 20 foot run back. Beautiful shot, Colin Huffman. That second rock was just a bonus. Main objective was to get rid of the top one. Colin Huffman, really precise. Gets both potential rocks flying. That's like a 15, 20 foot run back. Beautiful shot, Colin Huffman. Be another come around. Team Smith looking to gain some positioning in front of those rocks, make their rock hard to remove. So on the next shot, they can bang some more things around. That'll do the trick. Gets the red rock off the, the center line in the forefoot. Create some angles there that, that can be really useful for Team Smith. Force is now possible with that result. Colin's going to come down, take a peek here. They've decided on a straight peel. I think that's the smart play. There's nothing they're going to really change in the forefoot at this point that's going to benefit them. So may as well take the center guard off, make things a little easier for the eventual Chris Plies final stone. Really inside here. That's going to be a disaster. Absolute worst case scenario. Really made a, a pretty incredible shot for the other team there. Only way he couldn't miss that was inside.
big opportunity. Jason Smith has a perfect angle in the forefoot, the, the button right now. There is no way to score two at this moment, at this point in time. All they have to do is cover this up. This looks heavy. Or did for a second anyway. <laughs> in the sixth end here, we might be dealing with some changing ice conditions. A lot of a lot of sweepers have been really surprised as rocks kind of take some weight off and start curling. That's right where Skip Jason Smith had his broom. So successful shot there. Sealing up the 12 foot. Now John Schuster, Team Schuster, skipped by Chris Plies tonight, is in some trouble. Of course, they're okay with scoring one point. Here in the sixth end, still puts them up. Puts them up four. Knowing that, they're just going to peel this center guard. Mistakenly left there by Colin Hoffman. Same turn. Much better throw this time. Keeps that rock true down the center line. Going to get rid of that. Center line guard, little bonus stone goes away in the 12 foot. Good bounce back there from Colin. Really good looking scenario here for Team Smith. I I wonder if they're tempted to try and make a tap back and lie a few stones. Really tempting to make a steal happen here in the sixth end. Force to one is fine, but once you score in the seventh end with hammer, what's what are things gonna look like in the eighth end? You're gonna be down at least one point, unless you can find a way to get four. Might be tempting to, to make a play here on Smitty's last one. See if they can't gain the advantage in the forefoot, lie one or two. That's going to be a fine center guard, of course. First shot from Chris Plies here in the sixth end. Going to deal with that center guard. Force Team Smith to do something in the rings and take his chances with that. Just trying to figure out what what these angles can mean for them. I'm seeing a double where they lie three in the rings. Um, they must be wondering if there might be a triple that they'll leave if they make that. With these stones so tightly grouped together and so lined up, the two yellows already. You'd think that might be a risk, but I think it's very tempting if you're Team Smith to lie a few stones here, make Chris Plies shoot against a few really nice to steal a point or two here in the sixth end. Allow you to try and force your opponent in the seventh and come back into the eighth with hammer.
long discussion here, but worthwhile. This is this is the game. They've worked. Team Smith has worked really hard to get themselves back in this position, starting in this the fourth end. They did get forced that end, but uh, started to play much better. The fifth end, a really well put together end. And in the sixth here, got pretty lucky with uh, Colin Hoffman's missed peel. Jammed a, that stone right back into the pile and uh, really did the worst thing possible for Team Schuster. So, opportunity here to get Team Schuster on their toes. Make them make a shot here in the sixth end. Jason Smith takes a little extra time in the hack. This is a big shot. Smith's last in the sixth. Outside sweeper going hard, trying to make this curl. And they'll blow right by. Unfortunate, but at the same time, I'm just not, I'm just not seeing a way to get two here. They'll try this, this outturn draw. But geez, that rock's gonna have to be going quite literally sideways when it reaches the button in order to spin up and catch a second point there. Well, Team Schuster, pretty happy that they don't have to shoot against multiple points, I would think. Instead, a no risk draw for two. Chris Plies, last rock, sixth end, hoping to score an extra point here. Two on the board for Team Schuster. Calling on this one right away. Very hard on this one. Steiner coming out to help, and they'll, they'll call it quits on that one. No risk really to that shot. Team Schuster will take an easy point. Pretty thankful after what that end could have been. Schuster leads Smith six to two after six ends. Welcome back, seventh end. Scoreboard says six to two for Team Schuster, but uh, Team Smith has been on a roll. Three really well played ends in a row. Schuster surviving, some big weight. Colin Hoffman, Chris Ply is clearing out most trouble, even though it seems to be constantly forming from the Team Smith throwing yellow rocks. Nice stone in the top four foot, John Landsteiner. Jared Allen, first rock of the end, will be asked to throw up a corner guard. He's been throwing these quite consistently all game long, making them all, as far as I can remember. Pretty consistent game here from Jared. It's a good spot for the first one. Nice and high. Not very tickable, that guard. So, as they've done all game long, John Landstein are going to put his next one a little bit higher. Top eight, top four. Try to build a little stack down the middle, the center line.
Colin Uffman just walking along with this one. Caught some fudge at the end there. Teams will have to watch out. Seventh end, that's when the ice starts to change a little bit, if it is going to change. Seventh and eighth ends. Another guard coming, coming up from Jared Allen. This one a little deeper, trying to create some separation. Swoopers working hard here. That's going to be two really nice shots from Jared Allen. Giving his team a great chance at using a corner guard sort of uh, to the wing setup. Another perfect end from John Landsteiner. Not that they've all been perfect, but a few have, and this is this is one of them. Teams still ignoring each other's stones at this point. Free guard zone has a habit of doing that. First three rocks for each team, going to somewhat predetermined locations. little deep there but that's going to be all right it's uh it's towards that corner guard side would have needed to be perfectly buried for chris plies to not chase this thing so they will get punished a little bit for the imprecise location of that stone Gets the stone, rolls his own shooter out. That's okay. Keeping keeping that red rock around was just a bonus anyway. Team Smith will replace that stone. It actually gives them an opportunity to make it a little bit better. That's what they'll try to do. Outside sweeper trying to carve some extra curl, extra motion out of this this rock. Might have to go for weight as well. Really good sweep there. Getting the most possible curl out of that stone and that is perfect. No way to hit that one out. Perhaps some soft weight might tap it off, but I would think Chris Plies is gonna go for these guards now. Oh. Considering that Schuster has three really good rocks down the center, two of them shot rock. Chris is weighing his options. May not need to go for everything right now. Has decided on peeling this uh, middle guard. Chris and Colin might might still be a little gun shy from the disaster peel last end that sent a Smith rock cascading into the forefoot perfectly frozen. And that's where those rocks remained all end long. Get some extra curl here. It's the one. Oh, and rolls his shooter very nicely. Wow. Best of both worlds with that shot. Nice bounce back. Colin Huffman throwing a little bit more of a controlled peel, peel weight there. Keeping the angle low. 
getting a maximum amount of advantage out of his roll. Smith will have to stay satisfied with one rock buried behind one guard. They have to. They're just running out of stones. They must start to address the center of the ice. Try to gain some advantage. Remove the red stones from the controlling scoring area. It just has to happen eventually. Sweepers trying to get some curl out of this one. It also looks heavy. Occupies a semi-valuable spot back of the forefoot, but that is not going to be what Team Smith was hoping for there. They were hoping for a rock that would be difficult to remove and that they could use later on to bash forward. A rock already in the back four has only one direction to go, and that's right out the back of the house. Not going to do them much good later in the end. It is close enough to the forefoot and relevant enough that Schuster will be hitting this. Team Schuster. Skipped by Chris Plies tonight. Another hit weight shot from Colin Huffman. Sweeper switching side here. Will they get a piece? Yes, they do. Not enough to remove the stone. Team Smith sits third and fourth shot right now. May come into play. If Team Smith can ever figure out a way to get these two rocks, these two perfectly thrown rocks off the button end, the top of the forefoot, try to bring their outside counters into play. Now they need to do it right now. Pretty tough scenario Team Smith is facing here. Last of the third stones here in the seventh end. Team Smith trying their best to get these red rocks out of the way so they can manufacture a score here. We'll only get one. Will keep his shooter around, albeit oh, one, two, three, four, five, sixth shot. Not exactly what was hoped for. Team Smith was hoping to move all three of those red rocks touching the center line around. And they will need to. There's only two rocks to come. Time is running out. Not sure what Team Schuster has settled on here. Might be an intern hit around that corner guard. Just trying to limit the damage. Make sure if they give up points, it's only going to be one or two. Of course, they could play to their already very advantageous stones down the center line, but the risk does remain if Team Smith is able to make two really, really impressive shots happen. They don't want to be in a position where they gave up three points based on that. So... Hitting the, the most open of the yellow stones, rolling to the forefoot. Chris Plies with his first rock in the seventh end. A 
looks really good. Little hit, little roll. Just like they drew it up. Precisely like they drew it up, actually. Really nice called and made and swept shot. Three-piece Schuster. Minus John Schuster. Operating quite well this game here. Really tough look here for Team Jason Smith. They've got to make a whole lot of rocks move if they want any chance at counting those outside yellow biters, which you got to think is their only their only chance here. I do see a triple, and I think so does Team Smith. We'll get one. They will not get the second two. They will jam on their back zone. And you can see the body language. That is by most most means, most considerations, gonna be game over. With no way to remove those four stones, Team Smith will have a real tough chance, tough uh, shot just to count one here. I don't see a triple on the Reds. In fact, I don't know if I see a way for Team Smith to score one right now as things lie. I don't know if it's there. Chris Plies, just throwing his last stone here. No real right place to put this, just a bunch of wrong places. And all of them involve being heavy. So might take this as a good opportunity to practice Laying one right in the right in the forefoot there, top of the button. They will tick the outside guard. It's gonna end up in a fine spot. And that's likely gonna be it. Team Smith might try something extravagant to try and score a point here. Looks like they're lining up a intern soft weight sort of tap back see if they can't catch enough of the outside yellow or the outside red sorry let's get you a closer look here yeah so this intern yellow might might be able to tap that back with just back eight weight just barely enough to move that first red out of the button area and you'll probably have to move the second red as well very difficult shot they will take it on to try and score a point here. Keep the game alive, down three. Really good bounce back, Team Smith, in the second half of this game. Gave up the advantage early, but uh, really fought hard and ends four, five, and six specifically. 
put themselves back in this game, back in the conversation. Just wasn't quite enough because uh, there was a re- there was a response every time from John Landsteiner, Colin Huffman, and Chris Plies. Trying to keep this one straight. Looks pretty close. Might overcurl just a little bit. Yeah, much like his first one. Overcurls just a bit. That'll be handshakes. Really solid game. Uh, scoreboard here, not really telling the story. The full story. Team Jason Smith, a slow start at the beginning. Gave up the advantage that first the first two ends, the give up a three and a steal of one. That was a tough one to come back from. But since that four-point deficit, Team Smith hanging right there with Team John Schuster. Three-piece Schuster adds another win. Thank you for joining me tonight. There is another draw at 9 o'clock Central Time. Hope you stick around. Watch some more curling with me later. Bye-bye.